So if you're under 18, can you still take creatine? You know, this is a big question amongst young guys that I get. And the thing is, is, a lot of people seem to think creatine is very dangerous and has all these side effects. Now, it is true that creatine does have some side effects and there are greater and different types of people. However, what I am going to say is, is the stuff that is the most dangerous for people who are teens, like their early teens and developing, the most dangerous things that you can take is things that alter your hormones, which is like these steroids, like human growth hormone, you know, all, test all these different types of steroids, and then even a, even pro hormones are dangerous because your body is naturally developing the type of hormone levels that it should have. If you start introducing a, a type of hormone that isn't natural in your body, and your body isn't producing naturally itself, it means that it's going to knock you out of balance before your body's even balanced itself. Meaning that if you notice people who have finished puberty, you know, everything seems to be balanced. Everything will be balanced in your body for the most part. And you'll have the testosterone level that you're naturally supposed to have. If you introduce something that changes your level of testosterone unnaturally, then it's going to have huge impacts upon your body, which are going to affect you later on in life. However, creatine doesn't do this. So that's just to clarify that uh, what creatine is and what it does is, it is the energy that's used, the predominant energy source for the muscle. So ATP is pretty much the, most of the amount of energy that you're using to perform an exercise, which is what's in creatine. So pretty much if you're doing a bicep curl, the reason that you can do this motion and what the reason that you're doing it is the energy is coming from the bicep, which is the, the energy which is fueling the bicep is the creatine. So pretty much that's what it's going to do. And then with that, obviously, people have realized that it can get you more reps. Now with that, some people notice water retention. They also notice that they get better pumps and uh, the muscle looks fuller. So obviously, it's pretty fucking safe. It's not going to have this very negative effect on you. However, what I am going to say is, is that you don't need it at all. And I don't, I don't recommend that you take it. I'm just letting you know that it's okay, but I don't recommend that you take it. You know, if you're 16 and 17 and you really want to take it, it's okay. However, if you are under 16, there's no way in fucking hell that you should be taking creatine. Because people who are around that age are just newbies. You're just starting out. Don't be thinking about all your supplements and all this shit. Get your training on point. Get your nutrition on point. Make a decision what you're doing. So if you want to be as big as you can possibly be, you know, are you bulking? Do you know what calories it takes for your body to be at maintenance? And do you know what types that you, how, how many calories that you're going to need to bulk up at an efficient rate? You know, if you don't have all that stuff down, then don't be taking creatine. I think creatine can be used by people who are intermediate to advanced lifters, meaning they want to and make a slight improvement upon what they're doing like this is going to be you know one percent of your actual uh results that you get you know for the most part your sleep your training and your nutrition is what gives you 99 percent of your results then all these supplements might give you one percent like it's just a tiny edge that it might give you so to make not make this video too long, you know, I don't take any creatine. I don't feel like I need it at all. I'm not saying I'll never take it in the future, but right now, you know, I don't feel the need to take creatine. I feel like, you know, a lot of people will say, you know, creatine's fine on your kidneys. Some people say, you know, yes, it does have negative negative effects on your kidneys. You just need to drink more water. You know, for those type of side effects, you know, I've realized that, you know, every single organ provides a purpose in your body. So for my kidneys, I don't want to be harming my kidneys by having creatine, especially whenever it's not necessary. You know, I'm getting great results just eating a solid nutrition plan. I've got a great workout that I'm progressing in. And with that, my body's getting better. And that's what I advise you to do, first of all, especially if you're young. Make sure you've developed your physique in a way that you've gotten to a very heightened performance level. Meaning that if you start off with a 60 kilogram barbell bench, that you've got it up to 100 kilograms. Show yourself that you can bulk correctly, so you can put on a lot of size, and then you can cut correctly and show off how lean you can get, you know, get those six-pack abs, etc. So there you have it. There's my advice. Can you take creatine if you're under 18? Absolutely. You know, I'm not advising that you do it, but I'm just letting you know that it's going to be okay. You're not going to have this big significant side effects. However, do I advise it? I do not fucking advise anyone takes creatine, but I do understand that some people find that they get great results with it. 
And with that, obviously, people are going to take it to get better results. However, you do not fucking need creatine. You can get amazing results without it, and that's the same for any supplement. So get everything everything else on track, and if everything's going well and you feel like you want to test out creatine, or you've noticed that you've gotten great results with creatine, then by all means, you know, it's your own body, you can decide that. And if you feel like you want to take steroids, if you find you want to take creatine, then keep taking creatine. There you have it, guys.